The Fregalament case is studied by law students across the country because it lays out and applies the standard maxims of contract interpretation and illustrates how courts deal with ambiguous terms. The case of Fregalament Importing Company versus BNS International Sales Corporation is all about chicken. Though the word chicken might not seem like a subjective term, there was enough ambiguity in it to cause two parties to litigate the issue. Plaintiff for Gallimant Importing Company contracted with poultry supplier and defendant BNS International Sales Corporation for the sale and delivery of chicken at a set price. The negotiations took place mainly in German, but the English word for chicken was used. For Gallimant, a Swiss company, understood the English word chicken to mean young chickens that could be used for boiling and frying, that is, broilers, instead of the German word hun, H-U-H-N, which includes stewing chickens, or fowl. The market price for broilers was roughly 20% higher than the going rate for fowl. The contract itself was silent on the definition of chicken, and the parties set the contract price point halfway between the prevailing prices for broilers and fowl. American company BNS, a newcomer to the industry, interpreted for Gallimant's order for chickens as including both broilers and fowl, and its first shipment to for Gallimant contained mostly the less expensive fowl. For Gallimant complained about the fowl in the order, but accepted delivery of the shipment and permitted BNS to proceed with the second shipment. After finding fowl in the second shipment, for Gallimant sued BNS in federal district court for breach of warranty claiming that BNS delivered goods that did not match the description in the contract. At trial, both parties offered evidence in support of their own interpretation of the ambiguous term chicken. Judge Friendly held for BNS and dismissed the complaint. The court found that when parties to a contract subjectively construe an ambiguous term differently, courts must look externally to determine the proper meaning of the term. Specifically, Friendly held that courts may consider the plain meaning of the term, the negotiations between the parties, other contract provisions, market factors, the course of dealing between the parties, and trade usage. In this case, the plain meaning wasn't helpful because both parties' interpretations were included in dictionary definitions of chicken. The negotiations between the parties didn't shed much light either because the German-English language barrier obscured the issue. Other contract provisions suggested BNS's interpretation was correct, such as the incorporation by reference of the U.S. Department of Agriculture grading regulations, which include both broilers and fowl in the definition of chicken. Market factors also weighed in favor of BNS, because BNS persuasively argued that it couldn't get fryers for the agreed-to price. Similarly, the course of dealings between the parties also indicated that BNS's definition was the right one, because Fregalament accepted the first shipment, even though it contained stewing chickens. With respect to trade usage, the court said when one party is not a member of the trade, the other party has to show that the newcomer actually knew about the trade usage, or that the usage is so widespread that the court could presume the newcomer had accepted it. Here, BNS was too inexperienced in the industry to know chickens meant friars only and Fregalament could not show that the usage was widespread enough to be presumed. After considering all of the evidence, Judge Friendly dismissed Fregalament's complaint because BNS's interpretation of chicken was consistent with one objective definition of the word, and Fregalament hadn't met its burden of persuading the court that a narrower definition should apply. If you found this video helpful, you can explore all of our content by visiting us at quimby.com. If you have a question or comment about this case, please post it in the comments area below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you think we did a good job with this video, please like, share, and favorite it. And if you think this video might be helpful to people you know, please share on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well, to get this video out there. If you haven't done so already and you enjoy watching videos on this channel, click on the red subscribe button just below this video so you can get all the latest updates.